The European Parliament and ENEX signed a memorandum of understanding to expand cooperation ahead of the elections in June. It's very important for ENEX to cooperate with the European Parliament and the Commission and the Council because all of our members uh, who come from within the European Union, this set of elections is going to be really, really important. This time, there are some really crucial issues that people realize have to be sorted out at a European level. What will happen about the Russia-Ukraine conflict and the security situation? What will happen about fake news and disinformation? What will happen about economic development? What will happen about climate change? None of these big global issues that we face can be solved at an individual national level. And that means European elections, all of the European Union voting in June is crucial for all of our futures. Officials from the European Parliament also highlighted the importance of fighting against disinformation on February 22nd on the sidelines of the Enex coordinator meeting in Brussels. It is important because we know that democracy cannot be taken for granted. Um, we know that um, there are uh, actors trying to sow distrust in our democratic processes. We see that in different national elections, in elections across the world, and the tactics, the behaviors are regularly the same. We know that there is a threat present, not only on artificial intelligence engineered content, but generally about disinformation narratives or tactics. The European Union is at the forefront. We have an artificial intelligence act that is in the making, is being finalized now. We are um, interested also to see that platforms that will have to abide by this artificial intelligence act in the coming uh, year are also now committed for the largest part to, um, to apply most of this regulation ahead of um, the implementation of this legislation. Speaking to reporters in a regular press conference, the deputy spokesperson of the European Parliament further confirmed that there won't be any European lawmakers visiting Taiwan ahead of the European elections in June or the inauguration of President Lai ching de in May. Until the end of the term now, the missions and delegations are suspended uh, because we are in a, in a finalization procedure, so I don't see this likely, but of course this is always a decision in the hands of the Conference of Presidents of this House. Regarding Taiwan, if you know, there was a, a visit of the Special Committee on Interference on the spot there, so there is a, an attention brought to the question of democracy uh, by this House, so Foreign Affairs Committees, uh, CEDE Committee, but also this Foreign Interference uh, uh, me members of uh, this parliament have been focusing on the question and will continue. We have a delegation also uh, following uh, the developments in Asia. So, uh, But I cannot tell you at this stage if a mission or a delegation would go there and it's unlikely for the next weeks, as I said, because we are finalizing the legislative term. According to the spokesperson, the lawmakers are fully busy with their election campaign. Yet, an official delegation from the European Commission could also be in the pipeline. This is Dimitri Bouyas for TVBS World Taiwan in Brussels.